and that these people can take our energy like vampires. They can kill us, burn us, curse us. That's a pretty bad idea, right? So how do you get rid of a bad idea? <clears throat> well, there are two approaches that people take. One approach is the people I was talking about earlier at the beginning of the call. They're the head in the sand crew. If I stick my head in the sand, the bad idea disappears. Okay, all right. Uh, well, we know, we, we know about that, 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 that approach. It doesn't mean the idea goes away. But it doesn't stop people saying, I don't agree with it, therefore, to me, it doesn't exist. And you'll find that raised on uh, forums over and over again. And, and actually, people even try and pretend that that's a credible alternative. The other one is, let's get out there and kick some heads. Let's attack them. Attack, attack, attack. And there are plenty of people who are put down that pipe. Well, one thing about amoebic uh, um, system that is a bad idea is when you attack it, you actually help it. I know it sounds perverse, but it's true. When you attack something, you identify its weaknesses. When you identify its weaknesses, they fill in the weaknesses. Why do you think they permit a certain level of dissension and a certain number of people sending down false remedies over and over again? Why? Because in theory, it's supposed to help the system learn. The system's broken now, so of course that, that proves that it, it, it doesn't have anything relevant anyway. But that's the attack. So what people have done for centuries with the Vatican on this terribly bad idea is attack, attack, attack. There is a third way, and it's the only way to resolve a bad idea, and it is to consume it. To consume the idea is the only way that you can uh, get rid of a bad idea. Let me explain what I mean. You go to court and they say, what is your name? Say, Franco Collins, bang, personal jurisdiction, where do you live? Bang, 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 and off they go. You go to court and you say, I am registered in a superior register. I have you know, superior title. I can now challenge what you claim because there is a model that is equal and superior to your bad idea. Now I can fight your idea with a superior idea. And like any gladiatorial adversarial contest, when an idea is superior and greater and stronger, the weaker idea is consumed. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're consuming their canon law. We're consuming their models of society. We're consuming their claims of land, which they claim is all their private property and giving it back to people. We're consuming and consuming and consuming. And that includes their positions of power. Now, let's look at something that we're doing every time we go to their courts. Their judges and their public officials say, oh, no, we're Christian. And yet we find periodically that they are caught with some child or they're caught going to some satanic ceremony or they're doing some satanic gesture and we say, well, they're really Satanists. And then someone comes out and says, I've got a video of them going to some satanic ceremony. And they play us like a pull break. Well, how do you stop people jumping one to the side and, and moving like, you know, cats and, and nail them for what they are? Liars, cheats, thieves. Well, you drain the swamp. Okay. When you send a live-born record, it's from the register of one heaven. If they're a Christian, if they believe in God, they have to at least take some note and consider that this is a claim. Now, if they're a Satanist, if they work for some satanic system, and I would suggest a system that enslaves people, takes their energy, burns them, murders them, murders children, is certainly satanic, and you have consumed their symbols, and they still dishonor, then what are you dealing with? Well, you're dealing with an elite, anti-Semitic parasite. You're, believing, you're, you're dealing with something that believes in nothing. Believes in nothing. And that's why we do it. One, because we have the right. The unity of heaven is the uniting of spirits. There is no hell anymore. There is no 
divisions in heaven anymore. The only division is a world that needs help and a small group of people that are perfectly happy with the way the system is, are severely mentally ill and, and they need to be moved on. So that is the truth of the symbolism. Now, if you want to get stuck on the imaging that they throw at us, by all means, if you want to be an agent to the, to the elite anti-Semitic parasites, absolutely go right ahead. But know what you are, know what you're doing, and let's be clear. Because everything is on the open with Eucadia. There is no agenda. You read Eucadia, it is what it is. Wonderful, Frank. That's, uh, that's a great answer. Uh, again, is, uh, it's one of the biggest, hardest things for people to grasp is the, the whole aspect of when you have a superior covenant, such as Pactum de Singularis Kellum, that uh, as encompasses what has to happen is uh, the conveyance of also all symbolism. So this is, for an example, why uh, you will find on the Promised Land record, for an example, the symbolism of the Chi Ro, which was originally used by the Emperor Constantine. However, what you will find is because uh, gold and silver have now been demoted so that it cannot be used anymore as filthy money, is the symbol of the two keys do no longer have the power uh, to withhold gold and silver, for an example. Is that, that's also essentially correct, right, Frank? Yeah, well, we, we say, look, you know, there's a reason why people have been hearing that, you know, let's get back to gold and silver as lawful money. Money is a medium of exchange. That's all. You could have, sh you could have shells. You, you know, salt was money for a period. You could have beans. I mean, you could have widgets. You could have iPhones. You could have anything as money. You don't need gold as money. The only people that want gold to be money are the elite anti-Semitic parasites that control gold. And the reason they want gold to go back to being lawful money is that it cleans up the mess they've made over the last 70 years and keeps them in control. So if you want the same people that have destroyed this world and would like to keep destroying it in power, then support gold. Support it. If you want change, then stand up, be competent, and, uh, and move on. And let's grow up from the imaging. Look, the reason these symbols are there are deliberate. You know, they're not on a system by accident. When you send something into a judge wearing the robes of Baal, Baal, Moloch, right? And that judge does not honour that instrument then can they truly be a priest of Baal? Of course they can't. Now this has an effect. This has a rippling effect. This is why we are going to see change. We just have to remain steadfast and understand that we are doing this not just for ourselves, but for the benefit of our children and the benefit of our community, even if our community doesn't understand, is fearful, is concerned, is sceptical, because they still think in the imaging terms of Hollywood. Yeah, that's rightly so. I mean, uh, we don't inherit the earth. We borrow it from our children. Uh, let's take another uh, caller. Is uh, We have Darlene. Uh, Darlene, you're on the air with Eucadian Franco Collins. Hi, Frank. This is Darlene, a.k.a. Ormus. Um, Hi. I have completed um, steps um one through four and four is the um after the possession it says the endorsed bill where it says endorsed um by the pub by the public hazard bond. Um it says see reverse for endorsement. So when we put that date um on that endorsed bill, um what is going to be on the reverse for the endorsement side? Excellent. We we send that to the U.S. Uh, we send that to the Attorney General of your state, and we send it to the um, the U.S. Attorney General. And we do that because they manage the insurance of the officials in the state, 
and then the Attorney General's up in uh, in uh, Washington manage it for the country. So you don't actually have to put anything other than their name on the back as the endorsement. Okay. And then once we put the mature 90 days date on that, um, then we submit that to the um, with the live born record to the Attorney General. Uh, no, we we just use, we don't have to. What we have to do is sit on it, and then after 90 days, go to a bank and say we'd oh. like to draw down on the 10 million plates. Now, when the banks dishonour it, okay. Then what we do is we. Um, go after the bank as well. Okay. I understand. I'm sorry it's so many steps. I know, you know, I know people say, oh look, if you do one thing it's going to work. The the, the problem darling, is is that we're dealing with a system where it's full of people who think they know everything, they know nothing, they don't want to learn, they have no they have no idea where anything originates from. They don't want to know. Mm-hmm. And they get this stuff and they say, I'm not going to honour it. And yet it's based on their rules. It's based on the dishonour of their system. Um, so, yes, there's a few more hoops to go through. But at the end of the day, they have to pay. They have to pay. Okay. okay. Well, thank you so very much for your time. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, darling. Uh, next up, we got uh, W Tennessee. Uh, you're on the air. Uh, w Tennessee, we're uh, waiting to receive your uh, your question. Okay, maybe uh, maybe he's gone for a break for a second there. So, uh, uh, well, in the quick break, there just a couple of things coming out of the the chat. Um, there's a question there about interrogatories. Yes, there will be notes on interrogatories on the site, both for court and land, but I just need to prepare it. I've had some excellent feedback from a number of people who have done uh, hearings and, and been building their interrogatories. So yes, we will be actually adding that in. Um, so the answer is that yes. Uh, question is, can we seek other remedies before sending our documents? There's another question there. One thing I would say to, to anyone is you cannot be confident if you keep leaping back into other remedies that won't give you the history. So if someone comes and they say, aha, I have a remedy for you, and you leap down that path, and then you leap back here, it's not me saying it, it's just you are proving incompetence. And the worst thing you can do is start down this road claiming to be competent and then prove you are incompetent. So if you mix other people's claims with the greatest respect and what we're discussing, there is a risk. I'm not saying it will happen, but there is a risk through ignorance that you prove you are incompetent. And if you do that, then you put yourself in jeopardy. You'd be better off to have never done anything. So just be aware of that if you're going to do that. Yeah, that's very wise. Uh, We're going to take a a question from Guest 10. Uh, Guest 10, uh, you're on the air with uh, UKD and Franco Collins. Very interesting. They un- oh, let's see, see if they're unmuted. Let's see what happens. Uh, we'll take one from uh, a better way. Uh, he okay. Hi, oh, you're on the air. Um, did you say a better way? Yeah. yeah. Hi. Huh. Okay. Hi. This is Iris again. I just have to, um, uh, Frank, um, to ask you to clarify something for me, please. Um, in a case where. There has been a foreclosure eviction is coming up, and um, my understanding is that I won't be using either of the remedies of the um, how to save your home. I'm not clear. Yeah. On that. I'm not clear on that. Oh, you're not clear on which one. Okay. Um, you can go from 
bringing in a, a tenancy and then still running through and running.